Hello, welcome to part two of this FTL Let's Play. We're playing as the Stealth B ship. I've, I've dubbed it, I've rechristened it, the Glass Cannon. Um, let's first make this decision. The third sector, we go to Bandit Sector or Pirate Control. I'll go Pirate Control. I very much so dislike the Bandit Sector. I don't like fighting the Lannis or whatever they're called. Very difficult. Um, we have a weapons pre igniter. You have the glaive beam and a weapons pre igniter. Still no shields. So that's the situation we're in. We're just going to try and kill everything before they can kill us. We're going to start running into two shields. Wow, another boarding party. We struggled a lot last last video uh, taking care of these guys. Um, which was better luck this one? Maybe I should have just sucked the oxygen out early on in this fight, but I think I'm just going to tag team these guys in and hope I don't lose too much uh, these weapon systems. Uh, very much so important I don't lose these uh, any of these guys lives okay I think it's the only the last bit of damage that actually and um, does does whole damage to me it looks like they will get that last bit of damage though maybe not okay excellent Real problem, um, <laughs> the glaive beam with the pre igniter is brilliant for a nice quick fight. We t destroy a ship instantly, but they're boarding us with this lack of crew member. <laughs> it just takes so long. The fighting itself, the micromanagement, but also the healing. Get back into the weapons bay, I guess, although that's nearly repaired. Okay, let's hope for uh, just a nice clean fight next one, rather than all this mess. Hit the distress and uh, distress store back here. I don't know if we'll have time for that, but I think that's the only way not to double on myself. I don't want to go straight to the store right now. I still need a little more money. Actually, I do have an item to sell, which might get me up to the, what I require for shields. Although, I'd be more inclined to buy weapons with that pre-igniter. Um, sure, let's take a bit of damage for hopefully a reward. It was well worth it as it turns out. One damage from 28 reward. Okay, what is that? Uh, I don't want to go through there. So, pretty much leaves me, I guess, maybe shop, um, fight, back to the distress seeking beacon and back to another shop. <coughs> um, seems a little wasteful because I'm not going to be able to use both shops. Well, if I buy some here, I skip that one. Hmm. Let's do two shops. I really have my eye on a weapon system rather than shields, although it's hard to turn down shields given the fact that I really need them. Um, I can't quite afford them, it looks like. I <clears throat> I will wait till the next uh, to the next shop. Oh, what? <laughs> have I been on fire for a while now? Apologies for that. Okay, we're going to try and fly around to the next shop and see if we can afford shields there or maybe even some weapon systems. My logic, if, if I get weapons, I can just destroy them before taking damage myself. I have no oxygen either. I'm falling apart at the seams. Right, here it goes. Um, also, if I buy weapon systems, I can just repair my ship a little bit. Okay, this should be good. I should get an extra crew member out of this. Although, he's probably going to... It's going to be hard to get through his shields. Um, we're not going to kill him for a shot, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, wow, cloaking as well. Right, we're going to wait till he's shot. That's a bit annoying. It sort of wastes our, wastes our pre-igniter. 
Okay, I guess we hit our his shields, um, his piloting, his weapons, and his cloaking. I think. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, we can do all of that. I hope this. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, not taking down his weapons entirely. Okay, this is a problem. At least we got the flat cannon down, I guess. Okay, didn't hit our weapons either. That flat cannon may be able to fire in time. Well, not to save his ship, but... Ooh, we didn't kill him? Oh, our cloak just in time. Nice. Wow, I was expecting that to kill him. Um, two shields? It's a tough nut to crack, it would seem. Right, he's dead next time we get a shot off. If we get a shot off. Just gonna have to avoid damage here. Okay, um, a crew member for all of that. When he is about to die, yeah, he's one damage, one damage, one damage, one damage. He's definitely about to die. Um... No, I think I'd rather the money for this shot. <gasps> he didn't die. He, he, I forgot about his resist abilities. Oh, crap. I'm sure a few people were screaming that at me. But too late. Will this cloak get there? <gasps> oh, good. That extra power we put into the weapon system saves our glaive beam. And surely this will kill him now. Okay, this is why we need that extra weapon system. Um, mind you, you could also see that a shield would have helped out as well. But I think the weapons would have helped more than the shield as it happens. We could also, if we get the weapons, we can put the extra into more dodging. Which is, uh, be valuable. <laughs> also, I need to put some of the extra into repairs. That was not a profitable fight. Even the extra damage we took maybe would have been better off just taking, uh, just taking the crew member. Okay, I hope it was worth it. What have you got for me? Ooh, flat cannon is pretty much what I wanted. Um, oh, it doesn't even have a shield, so I have no choices here. <laughs> As if I wanted them. Okay, let's get that and let's upgrade the weapons, and that'll let us only repair a very small amount. But okay, we can live with that back. Alright, that's a powerful start. Flat Cannon can take out um, shields and glaive beam, take down the ship. Even if we run into assault on the shields, hopefully the Flat Cannon will take out most of it. And we still get a power into the cloak. Yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. Who needs shields? Huh? Shields? What are they? Uh, damn slavers. I probably will take a crew member this time. Um, I'm not gonna buy one though. Oh wow. Alright, we have to take down this um, drone. And I'd like to take down his weapons as well. Yeah, let's just accept that offer. We haven't, I don't think, we might not have done enough to take these drones down. Um, I think we probably have though. Let's accept the offer. We need a crew member. It will help with boardings. And um, it will stop us taking more damage in that fight. Yeah, okay. I think that's fine. Alright, let's pick some fights. Yeah, let's pick some of these fights rather than some of these empty, empty jumps. What's this? Mind control. Well, that's, that's not good. Let's go right ahead and knock that down if we can. And uh oh, he's dead. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> these, these are fun fights. Once they don't do anything stupid to us. Okay, another slaver. We probably won't take a crew member this time. <laughs> what has he got? Let's take down his uh, shields and we have to go for his weapons. And there's no kill. There's no kill straight off the bat. I guess can we do three damage only? Hmm. Still has missiles. We can dodge one missile, but one, one will teleport in. And we will get him next next time. Um, you know what, let's just take the take the crew member. Crew member is useful. And that could tear us apart that fight. Like if things just went against us, we could be in a lot of trouble. Speaking of going against us, asteroid field. I certainly don't want to go in there, even if we win the fight in the first few seconds. The amount of time it takes to uh, power up the engines, we could take some serious damage. And that's a little unfortunate, we're going to have to double back on ourselves in that case. Oh nice, another weapon system. Shields? What shields? We don't need shields. I'm, I should have looked a little closer there, I'm not sure if I have time to get back. Um, Okay, uh, he's going to board us. That's uh, not ideal, but it's, it's fine, I guess. Right, I need those weapons down. Again, that means I can only hit three things. But... Alright, we're able to dodge that second weapon. He's going to get in. And we can kill this border quite easily. Right, that's that dodge. Uh, we'll go hit the flak into. We probably should be able to get two shots to the flak. Try and hit the weapon straight off the bat. I would like an NG. <laughs> no, I, I'll take the money instead if hopefully it comes. Does mean he'll get one shot in on me. Oh, he's made a terrible decision changing to that weapon system. Man, I can't believe I turned down an engine crew member. It's not that they're necessarily so good, it's just I want an eclectic mix of crew members. I want as many species as I can get. Oh, we are, we're behind enemy lines. No. Uh, shots were charged too. Hull laser better than flak? Nah, I take the shields down with uh, the flak. Let's stick with that. Um, let's give ourselves as much energy as we can in this fight. Okay, I think we should be able to win this nice and quickly, though. <laughs> Glad I have that flak cannon. Oh, nice. Took all the shields down. Gonna hit shields and weapons. Each for three damage. Okay, we'll do dodge whatever shots he fires at us when they come. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of dodging done here. Maybe that ABS loss will miss as well. Yeah, that's a long cloak we have. Wow, how do you... There we go, nice miss. That should be him dead, but it does... <coughs> we will have to uh, wait, I think, for the engine to charge up. Hopefully they charge up at a faster rate. It's not like a second shot off on the planet. Okay, that dive wasn't too bad at all. Empire uh, control. We might only get halfway through this set. But let's get the whole way through the sector, even if it makes it a long video. Let's heal our crew members. <clears throat> I 
Okay, let's try and go down through this nebula and give ourselves a little more time here. Again, the weapons are... Holy crap, how did they miss all that? They have to hit shields. They don't have to hit a room. They have to hit the entire shields. That's crazy. And it is the... Is the halberd beam that says up the one that can destroy us the most? Unfortunately, like we can't dodge that. We can just float and hope for the bet. Hope we get our shot off in time. I think. I guess I should have cloaked a little earlier if that was the case. Oh, if that hits our weapons, which it's about to, we're in so much trouble. Oh, <laughs> I think we hit our. His weapons before he hit ours. That's interesting. I waited a little long there. I got. I think I got lucky in the end. Okay. Um. Really need to heal our ship up. Maybe drone control with a heat full repair. And maybe a shield system on the drones rather than actual shield. Okay, need to get down this uh, this drone control here, and we'll see where he. What does he lock out? He locks out the sensors. That is fine. No problem with that. In fact, we might be able to kill this ship in one shot. Perfect. Little unlucky of him, the fact that. The this ship is set up like that chain burst laser. Ooh. Sixteen charge time, fourteen seconds. So we save the sixteen second of the first charge, and then he just he keeps on piling on these shots. Um, that'll be our next choice if we can up our weapons there. Well, definitely be considering. I'm gonna hit up these. These nebula force, and then I, I want to get a shield system and repair my ship. So I need a lot of money. I guess maybe I can sell two of those weapon systems. Flat cannon and a glaive beam on their own should be enough for a sector or two. Right. Let's see what happens. And try and track them. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Excellent. Bit of money. Okay, we should have enough to buy shields. Uh, scrap recovery arm, I love it. But I can't get a witch shield. Oh, Falcon, oh my gods. Um, a Falcon with a glaive beam, that's all you can have though. Two fours. I think a flat cannon's better. Like a flat two, I'd trade out here. But uh, I think a flat cannon's better with the glaive beam. Hull repair with the drone control. Certainly tempting. Uh, scrap recovery arm. Certainly tempting. I love it. But people have been trying to talk me over, but I love them. No, we'll go ahead. Uh, get rid of hull laser. See what situation that leaves us in. Shields and a bit of repair. Uh, we'll leave the shields down for the moment. Probably. Use the flat cannon, use the beam, drop the flat cannon, get the shields up, sort of thing. Um, but we'll have to micromanage our, our power a little bit. Okay, I'm going to double back on myself to avoid all these. Uh, I don't want an asteroid field with my lack of shields. Although I do have some shields now. You know what? Maybe I could. I can go in with the cloak down, shields up. Uh, see what my weapons do. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's let's go through an asteroid field with a cloak ship. Mistake. All right, let's uh, get the shields up. Even though we forgot to do it. And we, it's important to hit the weapons and the drone. Okay, they're both out. Perfect. Let's just go ahead and cloak. Stop getting hit a few times. 
and we should be able to kill him when we come back. I don't know why I shot so soon there. I think that was a... Well, it doesn't matter, does it? He's dead either way. <clears throat> this is another unfortunate thing. You just have got to wait until the... Until the FTL drive comes back up. Um, <laughs> usually I would shield my ship with yours, gets a nice bit of scrap, does only a little damage usually, but I just, I don't have enough hull power, so I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to leave you. I don't usually do that. Wow, there's a lot of things to avoid. Have I ever got the achievement um, without jumping to an environmental damage? I've never actually got it, so we're still on track for that. So that's an achievement, never going to any one of these with a red circle. It's sometimes impossible. You can't always do it. Sometimes they... Well, maybe it's not, Maybe it's always possible from the very start, but sometimes you get yourself in the corner. Um, let's see. Three missiles? Yeah, I'm not using missiles, but whatever, I'm not using drone parts either. <laughs> Another environmental one. Alright, we we'll just have to go, go to the exit here. I think it's uh, there's nowhere else to really go. Weapons, nothing, nothing's enticing me to sell out anything I have to buy something they have. But we will repair our ship a little bit. That, that was that's an unfortunate sector. I missed a lot of beacons there. I'm here a lot earlier than I'd like. Nice trade. But give me something nice. Yeah, not much, but it's certainly it's better than the missiles and drone parts I had. Okay, uh, we'll jump to the, there's no choice there, go to the pirate control sector, and we'll end the video there. Thanks for joining me, this has been relatively successful so far, although I can see a lot of uh, dangers coming up in sector 5. Uh, tune in next video and see how I get on. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.